recovering from is it ankle surgery? Uh, yes, ankle surgery, yeah. right? Recovering from that. Tweets out this morning at six thirty-two a.m. So ha- first half hour of our show, probably watching, just hanging out, waking up to go get treatment. Yeah, going to grind. Most likely, that's right. Getting ready. He decided to post this. They tried to damage your reputation. You saved theirs by not telling your side of the story. <laughs> can you uh, explain? I, I can't explain, but I could. Tr- I mean, I can try to explain. Okay. I would think that he is saying that he did everything when he was hurt last year to grind it out and continue to perform at whatever level he could right. to help his team win. For whatever reason, they're saying things about him now that is not factually true. I can only read between the lines. I haven't spoke to him about that tweet at all. I can only try and read between the lines. I tend Mm -hmm. to lean toward professional athletes when they say these sort of things opposed to the media in the front office because I certainly know how Things go with athletes and front office people. Well, what, what? So he sounds like he's unhappy with the organization. No, it doesn't sound like he's unhappy with them to me. It sounds like he doesn't like the fact that because he Does didn't he not do, think that they're they're protecting him from criticism right now because he got the surgery so late that he's gonna. No, miss I think some time. I think when you think about it, for me, it's I'm, I'm looking at it and saying to myself that whoever it is trying to put out there that he got it late and they're unhappy with it mm-hmm. when they knew the entire time what the situation was, rather than just say, we knew he wasn't getting the surgery or we knew that he was getting it late and he might miss some time. Rather than say that, they're making it seem like he's defiant and going against what their recommendation was. That's what it sounds like to me without me really even knowing. I just kind of know how organizations are. They got their little feelers and their people out there, and they say things to save their own butts and make the player look a certain way in the media. That's just the way I've always seen it. I've lived it myself, and people run with it. Of course. They run with it, and and if you don't defend yourself, that would be the narrative that is set by them about you. I haven't heard the team, though, say anything publicly in frustration about him. Um, Sean, Sean, Sean said that he wasn't happy with it. It's certainly little tidbits. It was, it was, you know, it. not happy. I wish he'd have did it a different time. Things like that. But that doesn't mean because they don't say it publicly, they're not going behind closed doors mm-hmm. and saying it privately to people that will put it out there for them publicly. That does happen. I Absolutely will tell you that. it That's one of those conversations where it's like, listen, uh, if you're going to write about Michael Thomas, you know, you should keep in mind this happened. Yeah. Like, they'll do that, and therefore there's nothing on the record. There's nobody saying anything, but you as a reporter are like, oh, clearly they're not happy with this guy, so let me write it in that way. Yeah. And that can come out certainly that way. Now, look. You can't he's, please everybody, man. But he's critically important to this team. I mean, yeah. clearly, and especially in their, their search now, who's going to be their quarterback after Drew Brees. Is- Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.